guys John from TechSpace and today we are going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this new RC car from Jetwood RC. As you can see for those of you who are familiar with the Hypergo range this is a clone of I believe it's the H14 BM from Amazon and also the MJX Hypergo I believe it's a 14210. Let's open it up and see what is inside of the box. So there is a couple of differences to this Jetwood version of this Hypergo vehicle compared to the Hypergo range. So let's see what those differences are. All right, so let's look at the box art of this vehicle. So firstly, it's 114 scale. It's 3 is compatible, and I think it does have a 3S battery included. It's got LEDs, as you can see. It looks like the Jetwood sign is actually illuminated on the bumper. It does have hydraulic or oil filled shocks. You've got a 3S compatible ESC, and it says it's 45 amp. It's got a brushless motor assembly, and as you can see, there is a fan on the heatsink. And then you've got a 2.2 kilogram, what looks like a powerful servo, they reckon. And also 14 plus of age. You turn it around like that, so you can see 114 brushless four-wheel drive vehicle. If we turn the box around to the other side, there you can see is what looks to be a internal of the chassis and it looks like there's a 2000 milliamp hour 3s battery that's included yeah and it's just a nice overview of the chassis as you can see it looks almost identical to the h14 bm from amazon you have got channel one on the esc that will obviously be for the steering and channel two will be for the throttle control You've got your lighting control there with the channel 3 button. You've got the power switch and that is for off 70% and 100%. You've got throttle trim and steering trim. Now this was something that really caught my eye about this particular vehicle. Is the fact that you get a purple body with this Jetwood RC version. And that really looks epic. I can't wait to see how it looks inside. And also with this version, you get three chassis protectors included as well. I believe it would be as of random, because as you can see, there's already six different sticker designs, including the one that's already on the box art chassis there. So I think it's on random. You don't know which ones you're going to get. Really interested to see what the quality is of the chassis protecting stickers. Right, let's get this box open. Upon opening the box, you can see it looks like you have your sticker set. There you can see is the RC car. Empty box. Right, so that's just pieces of packaging. So there is the car. Take the plastic off now, but let's first see what is inside of this what looks to be a goodies box right so firstly it looks like you've got a couple of extra damping springs for the shock absorbers and you've got a couple of what looks like a arms suspension arms in this packet it looks like you've got a couple of extra drive shafts CVD style as you can see There's two of those you've got a couple of hinge pins with a couple of lock nuts for the wheels you've got what looks to be a lot of extra body clips a couple of screws and a couple of body mounts it looks like all right there you've got your 3s 2000 milliamp hour 11.1 volt 3s lipo battery with a T plug connector and there's your balance plug as well you've got a wheelie bar you've got a USB style charger and a connector for the balance port of your battery you've got a screwdriver and you've got a wheel hex and then you've got your MJX style controller. Most of you would be very familiar with that. Let's look at the vehicle and the body options that you get with this one. So, it's 
a very much carbon style color with some red and silver accents on this body and there is your plug for your lighting system that will obviously be for your rear light right so there's your plug system on that body and you've got nice skid protectors at the top of the roof which is always welcome jetwood rc awesome stuff wow 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 take a look at this purple color how awesome does that look this jetwood rc on the led bumper wow that looks awesome inside of the vehicle let's see at all the external details so on the purple body we've also got the roof skids you've got jetwood rc tires where the mjx hypergo i believe is branded mjx it's the exact same tires just again different brand all right so you've got your rear of it there and it does look like it is you guys would be able to tell me but it does look like it might be the version one rear cvds is that correct um i've heard that with the suspension travel that it allows the the dog bones here at the, or the cvds at the rear to actually fall out but it doesn't look like if you look on the inside it doesn't look like that travel would allow it to come out leave me down comments below if that looks like it's going to be a problem i know they made a version 2 to sort out the issues that there was with the suspension but let me know in the comments below if that is the version 1 drive system that you can see there all right you've got your rear wing you've got a bumper there isn't any support for the rear bumper there like a type of a brace like a shocking brace type of a thing got a little red insert there's the front as you can see again with the cvds the does look like the front suspension is shorter than the rear suspension all right okay let's open up all right so just always be careful when you remove the bodies for these vehicles that's got leds connected to the bodies because you've always got this little plug and these things are quite prone to actually break off upon removal wow that plug is really in there okay so i finally got this body removed and this plug was annoyingly stiff inside i needed to use a pliers a small long nose pliers and yeah it looks like there's already damage on it i just couldn't get it out it was so stiff even with the pliers i just couldn't get the bloody thing out so that's unfortunate but anyway all right so there's a comparison between the bodies you get all right now look let's look at the inside of the chassis so as you can see you've got a extra battery in here which i'm really happy about and i believe this is also going to be a 3s so the straps is really nice let me just turn it around so there you can see it's got omnidirectional straps so from over and over in the length of it so there is the another battery so there is two batteries in this kit there we go there they are so you've got fan you've got a small little heatsink on the motor there as you can see and you've got a EAC that is 45 amp so 3 is compatible as you can see there it does have the new EAC so it says there on it by short pressing the EAC button five times to switch between the two power modes so 3 beep unlock limit to 100% 1 beep power limited to 75% so this is the newest EAC the same one that the H14 BM from Amazon also has. Right. I'm not too sure whether this vehicle does have a gyro. I'm not too sure about that. It's nice that they give you that information sticker. I know with the other vehicles, you actually have to go into the product user manual to get that information. So that's a nice touch. 
lot of lots of plastic parts you've got an aluminium chassis and i would say that's probably about two and a half maybe three mil thick and you can see it at the bottom unfortunately you don't have uh, x hardware you can see you will have got phillips screws all the way around it's not a real deal breaker for me but yeah um i mean it is what it is the motor is a see if i can see it it's a 4400 kv bl2 852 motor and it says that it's an angry snail motor i don't know if you guys can see it in there all right and this is your receiver box this is your lighting system uh, for the power system there is your waterproof server and you've got a server saver underneath as well You've got a center chassis brace and that will obviously be for your impacts to absorb some of the jumps that you're going to be doing. I will install the wheelie bar. Alright, so there's a lot of... Okay, so there is some suspension slat there. Uh, or chassis slat, as you call it. So I've taken everything out and I'll spread it out so you can see what is included in the box. And I know you guys are quite excited to probably see the sticker kit. So let's quickly take a look at what is inside of this little package here. Okay, so let's open up this packaging and see what is inside. So these are the chassis protector stickers. Looks like some form of anime. Here's another one there and it looks like you've got the bold eagle there american eagle all right and then you've got a nice sticker kit as you can see some really nice quality stickers there we go and then you've got the user manual as you can see everything is exactly the same as you would find it on the mjx hypergo Some information about the power switch, the 45 amp brushes EC, channels where all the channels is going, all of that information, how to install the wheelie bar, the extra body mounts, how to connect the battery even, how to install the battery, and then you've got a blowout of all of the parts for the vehicle. So all of the part numbers, should you need to reorder something. All the spare parts with the codes as well and i've also put on the chassis protector decal sheet what do you guys reckon of that so i've put on some of the stickers that came with the decal sheet and it looks really really awesome i think what do you guys reckon yep everything sounds really good so the controller takes two double a batteries which is not included Right, so let's see how the LED lights on the vehicle looks. So with the function button or the third channel button, you can see you can switch the LED lights on the vehicle on or off. Right, 70%. So it's stuck on 70%. Let's look at that wheel speed. Hundred percent. As you can see, there is some wheel expansion there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the ESC trick. Right now, it's supposed to be on hundred percent. Looks like that might go a little bit. So in typical tech spikes fashion, we will go speed test this vehicle at the velodrome, which will be on a different video. 
Now these are the batteries that I'm going to be taking with to see what speeds we can actually reach and if there's going to be any differences between these batteries. I believe what I've seen from Tom Lee's channel is that these are actually not LiPo but rather Li-on batteries. So we should technically have better speeds with actual LiPo batteries. I just need to confirm that. If you like this video, remember to give it a like. And also, if you have not done so yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you do not want to miss the upload of this vehicle going around the velodrome. Stick around, guys, so you can see when that video uploads. So ring that notification bell. I'm John from TechSpace, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Bye. We just gotta go hard. Uh.